You know, let's just read together. Well, actually, hang on. Let me make sure there's no, like, tits or anything in here. Oh, we've got a big call-out post, you guys. <laughs> let's go, dude. Uh, okay, so this is Sage. This is, um, this is... She's in the poppy cool. Okay, she's in the poppy cool. Um, she, her, fair, fair, streamer, polypan, BPD, ADHD, minors do not interact, Discord, plural, and the uh, altar is Cerise. I can't see what the, the emoji is because it's not loading, so we'll just imagine, okay? All right, so <clears throat> this is Sage Reblogged. Sage, you got played by Sparky. Sparky is that Willy Otter dude who's like literally a fucking pedophile. Um, that's so embarrassing for you. Maybe next time don't welcome pedos into your space. A fucking base. What a base take. We love that. And then this, she says, you, you deserve to end up at a Logan Paul video. Imagine somebody being like, maybe you shouldn't hang out with pedophiles. And um, your response is like, kill yourself. Like, imagine, imagine that. Could you guys imagine that? Somebody says rationally and reasonably, maybe don't hang out with pedophiles and you say, kill yourself. Good one. Great rebuttal. Resuming, okay. And then Sage says, stop being a kiwi farmer when she says, this person, who says this? Oh, this is the hate blog says, uh, stop being a, stop telling people to kill themselves. This is so cringe. And then Sage says, stop being a kiwi farmer. And then reblogged. Um, Anonymous asks, how are Poppy and Xena paying rent? Right, right now, I'm not asking to be mean. I just don't understand how they're still functioning. I know that Poppy got unemployment. If your employer fires you for a justified cause, you aren't eligible for it. Um, maybe you can get a severance package or whatever. Um, and then the Poppy and Xena blog responds and says, I don't go looking for stuff. My concern was never removing financial security. It was her job as a therapist um, that I was concerned about. <clears throat> and then Sage reblogs this and says, I don't think about that stuff. Then they say in response to the fact that they eliminated a person's income for speaking about their sexual assault. They're already working with Kiwi Farms. They're showing willingness to go after our incomes. They are trying to get us killed. Okay, maybe this is just me, okay? And this might just be my perspective. Um, I don't think that people, like, shitposting about you is, like, trying to get you killed. I don't think that somebody saying that, hey, you work with vulnerable people and you're probably, like, a dangerous person to be around vulnerable people. I don't know if that's, like, trying to get somebody killed. I think that's kind of a stretch of the imagination. Um, I also don't think that like these people are working with Kiwi Farms at all. I think that these are like people that would probably be pretty against the existence of Kiwi Farms and probably wouldn't support Kiwi Farms like in any meaningful sense. Um, it just is coincidence that these people have been like documenting this for a while. So Kiwi Farms is getting a lot of their information off of these people documenting it. I don't think they're like collaborating. You know, they're just kind of like double dipping, I guess is how I would describe it. But wild take. Okay, and then this person says to the Poppy and Xena blog, this is awful and it sucks. I'm going to lose the only community I have, but I can't send this behavior anymore. I've been supportive of Poppy and Xena and Sage because I thought they were being harassed and abused. Oh, also one more thing. Um, uh, Poppy was not sexually assaulted. I cannot make that clear enough. I cannot make that clear enough. I cannot reiterate it enough. Somebody breaking up with you after you guys fuck is not being sexually assaulted. But anyway, okay. So and then this person says, uh, the blog says, I appreciate you. And then this is Sage's altar talking. We need to do a silly accent for this. What's that? What is, what, what kind of name is Cerise? Cerise name origins. What? It's French. It means cherry. Okay. Um, I don't think I can do a French accent. I don't think I can do it. So this is, this is Sage's alter Cerise. Han, 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 baguette. Reminder, this blog is engaging in abuse apologia, defending sexual abusers, including literally putting the quote, she was asking for it routine. I'd suggest reading Sage's statement here, as this blog defends Han 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 Baguette, uh, the group that sexually abused and isolated her, mishandling her suicide attempt, and is now harassing her, Han 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 Baguette. And we'll have to read this here shortly. That looks delicious. Okay, we're going to keep that in mind, but we're moving on, because apparently there, apparently there's fighting, guys. Apparently there's fighting. There's a cat fight. I didn't know Malcolm was French. Ah, oh, thank you, guys. Wow, what a good, what a good French accent. True. Okay. <clears throat> Expanding stage, Sage's statement, the group involved in Sage's attempt, Tumblr edition. Okay, so I think this is this Google Doc synopsis. So it looks like we're diving into it right now. So remember, like I said early, earlier, earlier, um, this is the, I was going to kill myself and then everybody called the cops instead of calling Poppy and Xena because Poppy would save my life. So <clears throat> I don't think this isn't the altar. I don't see that. So we're scratching the French accent for now. I want to expand on my statement from earlier this month. The way I will do this is through annotation. Rather than writing out an entirely new statement, I felt that it would be better to add the context to the events mentioned previously. Okay. <clears throat> I realized before I was more vague than some may have preferred. This was for two reasons. 
One. First is that I was trying to acknowledge the events and actions without drawing attention to specific people. Two, the second uh, is there were some events that I wasn't ready to mention publicly because I was still processing my own feelings around them. The aftermath of this was seeing uh, was to see my girlfriend's essay turn into discourse and draw further attention away. So uh, I feel no need to keep things close to my chest any longer. So we're going all out nuclear because Poppy was raped. Um, okay, annotating my uh, original statement. So, quote, my partners and I have been dealing with six months, a six-month-long series of harassment by a group of people comprised of ex-friends, ex-girlfriends, and online drama seekers looking to capitalize on the social cloud of bringing down a content creator with a semi-notable following. I include myself in this campaign because I've been directly targeted, though after this post and an exchange between myself and a member of the group, I expect that will soon change. But because for the individuals, or for the last several months, I've been stripped of my agency, individuality, and used cynically as a bludgeon against my partners. To start, I'll give a little bit of context here. The exchange I'm referencing was in a DM I sent in anger to a person that weaponized an obfuscation of their age to pedo jacket my girlfriend. This uh, never was published, but I am not hiding my anger. Uh, this charge was told was the charge was that I told this kid to kill themselves. I did not. Okay, guys, everybody, get your kill yourself glasses on. Okay, put your su- put your suicide glasses on. <laughs> We're doing a suicide investigation. Is this uh, kill yourself or not? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna do my sassy attitude. <clears throat> I can't believe that I ever believed for one second that you gave a shit about any of us. You pretended to care about people, weaponizing their identity to paint people as predators when they aren't, only to jump on a bandwagon and do the exact same the first time that it suits you. You pretended to give a shit about the other sides until it became inconvenient to the narrative uh, being spun. There's that delayed ass response. Thank you. Uh, I should have known. You'd end up just like the rest of them, projecting abuse and harm onto people because of your unwillingness to get out of your own abusive relationship or care about anyone but yourself. I hope all of you rot in your fucked up senses of justice, and I hope you see yourselves degrade in a way that I have this year because of the actions of people you've chosen. Enjoy your broken ass circle of psychophants. I hope all of you go through whatever I did in May. Okay, so in May, Sage tried to kill herself. That was when she tried to kill herself and did not complete the attempt. So, I hope you all go through what I did in May. I hope that you all kill yourselves. That's literally, that's lit. She is literally telling them to kill themselves. Where, hang on. Pause, where is this? Where is my Google Doc? Here it is, found it. Bing, bang, bong, got it. Okay, so here we have, this is in the document. We have um, additional screenshot puppies, odd treatment of Sage's suicidal depressive episodes. Um, May is in reference to Sage's suicide attempt. So Sage says, I think I was right in May. So when she is talking about like May, she's talking about when she tried to kill herself. So she says, enjoy your broken ass circle of uh, psychophants. I hope that you all go through what I went through in May. So she is, she is telling them to kill themselves. She is, she is, she absolutely is. Uh, The charge was that I told this kid to kill themselves. I did not. She's literally like, oh, I hope that you kill yourself like I did in May. That's literally what she's doing, bro. What? Now, I'm not going to defend my message here. I sent this in anger. I shouldn't have reached out at all. This was entirely unproductive and only served to cause further conflict. That said, I didn't tell them to kill themselves. I was wishing them and the entire group of fate worse than that, uh, which is that they felt the earth shattering pain and mental degradation that I felt in May and after. So we have already seen that she's fucking lying here. She, When she's referencing May, she's referencing when she tried to kill herself. Um, okay, for more context of this person's action, I'll refer to my partner's statement here. Okay, quote, in May of last year, I attempted to take my own life. Bruh, you're literally telling on yourself. I didn't tell them to kill myself. I just said, I hope that you have a hard time like I had in May. In May of last year, I tried to kill myself. <gasps> okay. Um, I never talked about it publicly. A uh, circle of now ex-friends uh, in the months leading up to this spent a lot of time isolating me from my partners, who, for context, uh, were my favorite people. FPs. I like how FP is supposed to be like this really unique relationship that you have with like one person because you're borderline, but like all these bitches have like 10 favorite people. It's almost like it's used for like emotional leverage and manipulation instead of being like an actual thing. Um, hon, hon, hon. I didn't tell them to kill my, kill themselves. I just wish them a fate worse than that. True. Uh, convincing me that I was in an abusive relationship, but never gave me any tools or empowerment to get away from the alleged abuse. Several months were spent fracturing a larger uh, friend group and further pushing me into isolation. Uh, then in May I attempted and that very friend group saved my life by contacting my family and getting me to safety not my partners not their friends my real friends so we ooh, interesting it's interesting to see here how like the narration here is like oh um all these people saved my life um 
Okay, but then that changes pretty quickly. The friends in question were included uh, by the block list that's reshared before Admiral Paco, Lady Ringclown, and Aztec Tunes um, are the friends I was referring to. It also be noted that another friend, Ghost, was also a part of this group and was not included in the block list. I will get into why uh, into why later. For now, uh, I will be focusing on the actions of the other three. So what, what was the group I referred to? So Admiral Paco is a former mod for the Foundation. Uh, who developed a close friendship. Uh, and then I began streaming. We bonded over similar tastes, political views, rather chill. Um, he frequently helped me with research on topics. He was integral to my analysis of the Renegade Cuts awful video on the military. Um, but the gist here is Paco was near the end a large part of my life. Uh, Lady Raincloud, a content creator and former mod of the foundation, um, Near the beginning of my relationship with Poppy and Xena, you may remember Rain is one of the guests on my Renegade Cut video. Um, I also visited Rain's house IRL twice last year, including a few weeks before my attempt. Again, I will go into more detail about Rain, um, but for now, it's just enough to know how close I was. Aztec Tunes is a musician who briefly dated Xena and Poppy after my relationship with Poppy began. Um, this continued, or excuse me, they were still metamores uh, with us becoming close. This continued after Poppy and Xena broke up. Aztec would flirt with me and didn't hide her interest in me. Um, I will go into details about why, okay. Why are we doing all this if we're getting context later? Okay, Ghost is the lone friend of this group that it was not included in this block list. That's because when I refer to the group, I, the group I only include them as so far as they were part of the events. Okay, so <clears throat> Ghost is good. We don't hate Ghost. Ghost is cool. Okay, conditions that led to isolation. I want to focus specifically on the section above. Quote, a circle of now ex-friends in the months leading up to this spent a lot of time isolating me from my partners who, for context, are and were my FPs. <coughs> Again. Okay, so we already we already read this, right? Okay, so what happened that isolated me? Why would they do this? Were they just evil? Well, it's more complicated than that. No, most of the events that I'm mentioning in this document happened either in voice calls or offline in a few instances. Oh, convenient. Um, several events happened in November 22 and Feb 2023. Blah, 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 blah. The short version of these issues is that communication breakdowns between the three led to Aztec wanting a more serious relationship than Poppy and Zena wanted with her. From my recollection, all three of them handled certain aspects of this poorly. <gasps> Poppy slander Judas. Ultimately, Aztec contributed to much of this breakdown. For this reason, I say Aztec routinely spent a lot of time in VCs and the foundation complaining about her relationship uh, to anybody that would listen. Damn, that's literally what all you guys do, but Aztec's the bad one, huh? First, she didn't tell me why, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. Um, at the time, I was unsure what, I, what she actually wanted, so I tried to help her out as best as I could and support her, but once I actually understood what was going on and how she was circumventing talking to her partners about relationships by approaching a metamor, I asked her to stop. To her credit, she did, but she also continued to seek support from the venting for several weeks. The important note is that Paco, Ghost, and Rain, among others that are mostly irrelevant, were present for many of these calls. Okay, so TLDR, uh, Aztec, um, was bitching about their relationship with Zena and Poppy in voice channels. Okay, call the police then. February 2023, they broke up with Aztec. Uh, la, 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 la. Poppy and Zena were simultaneously dealing with health issues at home with their kid. Um, a conflict between Zena and Rain happened that wouldn't be resolved for a while, and I would visit Rain for the first of two times. During this time, my emotional issues led me to avoid spending time in large groups. This meant that I spent uh, parts of the time and parts of the foundation that weren't accessible to many people. Paco, I said, Ghost, and Rain all had access to these parts of the server. Uh, Paco and Ghost voiced wishes for a smaller group, and Rain voiced that she wished, uh, wishes for spaces free from certain members of the foundation. Um, in March... Wait, what is this? This led to several calls over the months where this group would isolate from larger calls on the server where Xena and Poppy would often be, and I was often pulled into calls uh, because I would dissociate in the larger chats. So in March... Uh, many calls with Paco, Rain, and Ghost, in which Paco and Rain voiced their wishes for a different place to hang out away from the larger group. I repurposed my private server. So they were hanging out in their private server. Okay. Uh, due to the conversation largely, fo largely focusing on the grievances that others, mostly Rain, had with the Xena and Poppy or my BPD meltdowns in which uh, others would validate overstated feelings and thought spirals. There were several times Rain asked me if I was being abused and when I would tell her no, she would ask leading questions in order to convince me otherwise. Okay. Zenopi, Papina. I think Papina sounds pretty fit, pretty fresh. I like Papina. Okay, detour, small highlight in these voice calls leading up to leading up to the attempt. So most of what I'm going to talk about is Rain because Rain is the largest co contributor to the toxic behavior in voice calls in the foundation. Rain would uh, get into conflict with Poppy or Zena over minor disagreements on political issues. It was not uh, uncommon for Rain to come into chat severely agitated, going as so far to levy threats against violence against political enemies. Um, Oh, was that like when Poppy said that if you come around me, you'll forget to breathe? That kind of sounded like a threat, but 
it's just funny to he when we do it. Um, we didn't take this seriously because she was just harmlessly expressing her harsh feelings. So it sounds like she was venting and she was like, God, I just want to fucking kill this bitch. She's so stupid. And they were like, oh, help me. She's so violent and dangerous. She would often get so angry that she would yell at us and then leave. In addition, she would take up a lot of space and voice calls and get a ton of emotional support. Blah, 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 blah. It's not uncommon for Rain to flirt with myself, Aztec, Xena, or Poppy in voice calls. That's not necessarily a problem in and of itself, but it often devolved into her begging, sometimes literally for myself or Aztec or Poppy to flash our breasts. If true, cringe, but we don't have any, you know, kind of uh, evidence for this. But if true, cringe. If true, not appropriate. Um, pa -pa 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 -pa. And she couldn't keep the relationship if she wanted to be polyamorous. Flirting between Aztec and I was common in voice calls at first. The reason I reciprocated Aztec flirting was because I liked the attention. On occasion, I find flirting fun. But over time, uh, it it became more of a compulsion than something I was really into. Okay, why, what is it with all these people getting, like, fucking raped in Discord voice calls? Like, just hang up. There's a there's an end call button. You can just, boop, and then you're off of the call, and you're not being raped anymore. I don't understand this at all. Like, if people are being weird to you on Discord, like, just don't talk to them on Discord. I don't get this. Okay, so... This is so long, I'm gonna die. Okay, so I bring up the fact that many of our VCs following Xena and Poppy break up with Aztec, blah, 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 blah. When it comes to seeking support for issues in relationships, I don't care. Give me the tea. Okay, I went back and forth on whether or not I even wanted to talk about this. I mentioned Aztec. Flirted with me publicly in calls. Uh, I went with it due to my own inability to set boundaries. Okay, so why are you blowing this person up now? It sounds like it's a you problem. That day she'd been upset due to dysphoria and I called to help reassure her um, because she reached out, kind of calmed down. Flirting happened. I reciprocated. Um, she was on the phone with her camera on, so I couldn't... Oh, okay, here we go. This is this is the big the big allegation, guys. This is the Discord rape. The Discord rape review. Okay, so, um, let's see. After she kind of calmed down, the flirting happened, and I reciprocated since, again, I was already not really sure how to address things with her, and I felt guilty, and, like, I'd thrown her a bone because she was clearly having uh, self-image issues that day. In this call, she began masturbating in response to my flirting. Her facial expressions, the way she was positioned, her body language and movement. She was on the phone with her camera, so I couldn't see everything, but enough to know what she was doing. I didn't know what to do, so I kind of froze and just tried to roll with it. I'm fairly certain that she knew I was aware, uh, but it w never went addressed. Um, there was never any kind of agreement or consent for any sexual stuff being made between either of us. I never spoke of it to anyone because I felt embarrassed and kept blaming myself for egging her on by flirting her. Okay, again, you guys, like, hang up the Discord call. I don't understand this. Like, this is just, ugh, this is so fucking weird to me. So, like, is there sometimes pressure in sexual situations because you're scared of, like, the repercussions. Yes. Um, could this technically be, uh, in certain circumstances, like, rape by coercion or, like, intimidation or things like that? Yeah, absolutely. If you have, like, a little woman, you know, who's, like, five foot, and this guy's, like, 6'2", and he's, like, blocking the door, and he's, like, okay, so pull your tits out. And she's, like, no, like, I don't really want any kind of, like, postures. And she's, like, oh, okay, and then, like, kind of, like, flashes her tits because she's scared that this dude's, like, either gonna beat the shit out of her or, like, actually rape her. Like, that is a problem because there's proximity, there's differences in size, differences in like power differentials and shit like that there's a lot of factors that go into it you being on a fucking discord call where somebody's jerking off in front of you is not one of them hang up the fucking call what are you scared of that they're gonna teleport into your house like what you can literally just hang up and be like dude that was weird as fuck don't do that again like what are what are the what are the consequences of you being like no dude that's weird as fuck don't do that in front of me or hanging up the discord call like are you seriously saying that you were cyber raped because somebody jerked off in a fucking discord call with you what I don't get it, dude. Oh, wow. Okay. I realize that this will be disputed by her. Well, and true, this is also alleged that this person, like, jacked off in the Discord call. Like, we don't even know if that's true, but let's just say somebody, like, say that, you know, let's just say you guys, we're all in a Discord call together, and somebody starts gooning. You know, maybe it's not, maybe they're not showing it, but maybe we can kind of tell that they're gooning a little bit. Kick him out of the fucking call and say, bro, get the fuck out of the Discord. That's fucking disgusting. Like, you're on Discord. Just hang up the fucking call. Yeah, guys, do your tactics. It's true. When I was in high school, I had a friend who, on the phone call, number one, just started jacking it on the phone, and I never got the phone with him again. Like, where's the personal responsibility? Like, yeah, you just, like, hang up. You just hang up the Discord call. Like, okay. Cyber rape. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I realize this will be disputed. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm not trying to cancel anyone. I just uh, wanted to be understood the culture of the group that I was in. Oh, so it was like hypersexual and like mega goonie and all of you guys were like flirting with each other and being incestuous and that caused problems. 
Who could have predicted that? Who could have predicted that if you put like 10 horny people in one fucking Discord chat that they would probably like fucking goon all over each other the whole fucking time? Wow. Color me shocked. Wow. Shocked Pikachu face. Okay. <sighs> the attempt. Those friends that quote saved my life, they knew of my previous uh, two attempts in the week before and one talked me out of a third the night before and none of them said a word to anyone about it. Let's keep reading. The one uh, the night before is significant because I was literally 10 minutes uh, from my partners when this happened and no one tried to contact them. The minor contact or the minor contact made did not actually express the severity of the situation and trying to find me the next day. They took a ton of gambles and exhausted only a few options. They lucked out. Okay, so reading this and this is just me, okay? No one said a word to anyone about it because it's no one else's business. If I was in a private group chat with people, like let's just say in the Discord server, I was in the fucking mod chat and I said, I think I'm going to kill myself. Do you think that everybody that's like in a mod and admin is going to run around to everybody and their mom and be like, Malcolm's going to kill himself, call the fucking cop. You would just kind of keep that to yourself for one. And then two, like literally the day before you try to kill yourself, there were two times before that in a week. Like it was probably just like, okay, then like go to the hospital. You know, it's like, how many times are we going to do this song and dance? Like go and check yourself in. Like... And they exhausted all these options. They didn't call my partners that were 10 minutes away. Why not just call the cops? I don't understand. I don't understand. I wanted to add the context to this too because I didn't fully go into detail about the series of the events of that day. At the end of April, Xena broke up with me, but not Poppy. Wow. A oh, wow. Uh, the poppy cule is fracturing. This occurred due to the conflicts that arose between us, the result of a declining mental health condition when my, uh, existing issues, uh, they and poppy were dealing with at home. This devastated me as I had been, excuse me, spiraling for a month of, or my own fears of a relationship was going to end. And then told her the implication that, uh, that I was, I was, I was in ones that were bad for me. Oh, so Xena broke up with you because of your mental health spiral. But when poppy does it, it's totally based and cool. Wow. Very fun. Um, a few days later, I attempted suicide. This attempt failed and no one found out. Uh, save for the fact that a week or so later, I told Paco and Ghost in confidence that same week I apply, I planned to try another try, but I was stopped prematurely. Ghost and Paco were made aware of this as well. It was a week after this attempt that I would spend the weekend at Xena and Poppy's and, and I had an appointment for my bottom surgery consultation and laser hair removal scheduled. The goal was that I would spend the weekend plus a few days uh, till the end of my consultation and over the weekend would help me uh, around the house to get some stuff reorganized and rearranged. Uh, this was planned and something uh, I not only agreed to, but offered to do. The drive I make to their place is incredibly long, and afterwards, I almost always need the night to recover and take things easy. The next day, I was very non-functional due to stress, the drive, and emotional issues that stem from my recent suicide attempt, plus things that were still really awkward between Xena and I. Over the day, conflicts uh, formed over what they perceived as me going back on agreements to help out, and what I perceived as them going uh, as... Excuse me, I perceived as them ignoring or dismissing my emotional problems. This led to a couple of arguments on Sunday and Saturday. Uh, Rain actually visited me for a couple of hours because she was in the area on her way home. I was barely functioning that day due to the arguments and my emotional state deteriorating. Um, blah, 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 blah. The decision was made that night that I would stay the rest of my time in an Airbnb. I booked one that was 10 minutes away from Xena and Poppy's place. They put, paid for me and gave me the address of the new where I would be. I checked in on the Airbnb on Monday and spent most of the day getting situated. On Tuesday, Poppy and I planned a date night. Uh, we were going out for dinner and drinks, but a conflict between the three of us caused Poppy to cancel because she felt I, because she felt pulled in both directions. This devastated me. Um, I was so upset it sent me back spiraling, and I planned to commit suicide that night. So uh, Admiral Paco says you are not destined to be this way. Uh, your present, your present, present is not your forever. Sage says easy to say that when every present moment keeps me like this. Um, Paco says I know, um, but the present feels infinite, but it's not. And then she's going on like, blah, you know, I'm, I can't be happy. I'm so upset. All I do is hurt and push away. All I can do is this. And then Paco says, I'm sorry. Uh, I can speak for myself. I want our friendship. I need our friendship. You make my life better. And I would like to be able to talk to you on VC or phone call. Okay. So they call. Uh, Ghost was not made aware of the suicidality. Um, I could be missing something. This might be present in other DMs, but this does not convey to me suicidality. Like, it just seems like she's, like, upset. Like, I don't see anything about, like, I want to kill myself. You know what I mean? Unless I'm reading this wrong. It is, though, everyone... Uh, I just need to accept the things that aren't going to change. I can't be happy. I can't be connected. All I do is hurt and push. Make everyone's life worse. I can't be what people need. All I can do is speed up the process. So I might be missing something here, but that just seems like she's upset. I wouldn't read that and be like, oh my god, she's suicidal. What is up, Deep Sea Monster? Welcome, King. We're reading um, Sage's um, Suicide Manifesto about uh, cyber rape. 
Okay, uh, so Paco was talking to me most of the day. He knew also a satellite was. Paco pulled me into a three-hour one-on-one Discord call while he tried to talk me out of killing myself. Okay, so um, uh, Paco did not tell anyone how serious things were. He sent Poppy a message that says, Sage isn't doing well. Okay, so he didn't re relay how serious it was, which is a part of why, uh, as of nearly a day later, Poppy hadn't seen the message because she had passed out due to a migraine. So, like, even if, you know, Paco texted Poppy and said, oh my god, help, 911, Sage is gonna fucking kill herself, she would have been asleep. So, it really wouldn't have mattered anyway. Um, he didn't tell Ghost, he didn't tell Xena, he didn't tell anybody, so nobody, okay. I also had a call with Rain that night for similar reasons. After Paco's call, uh, Rain did not reach out to Poppy and Xena. The reason why is important is that Poppy and Xena literally knew where I was and had the capability of getting me, plus uh, capable of handling somebody who's in an active crisis. Girl, Poppy can't even handle her own fucking crisis. What do you mean she can handle somebody else's crisis? Poppy can't even throw away a bag of burnt tortillas. Like, oh, dude, look at my crisis intervention counselor dog. I'm totally going to kill myself. No. Um, okay. <laughs> Eventually, I went to sleep and went to my consultation, but I didn't reach back out to Paco or Ghost. I only responded to a text from Paco indicating that I was waiting to hear from Poppy and Xena so I could pick up a few things. The day of the attempt, I told no one what I was doing. Okay, so all these people were just supposed to mind read that you were going to fucking kill yourself and tell Poppy and Xena and they were going to swoop in on the fucking goon copter and save you. Okay. Okay, again, direct phone calls. Okay, so Lady Rincon says, you better still be alive. Sage says, right now, for right now, trying really hard not to drive off the highway. Okay. Uh, Rain says, how about don't do that? Sage says, at least it ensures that I won't hurt anyone else in the process. Rain says, what would hurt me most is you not being here. Um, Sage says, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be alone. And then um, they called and the, uh, Rain called and then was like, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Um, the reason I never received any, um, received any from Poppy and Xena was because Rain intentionally kept the information that I was in crisis and that she was looking for my family uh, from them. This was important because the last any of them knew I was a 10 minute drive from Xena and Poppy's place. And given that knowledge was so seriously wrong, they could have acted much earlier. Instead, Rain and Paco took the long, short version of trying to find my family. Rain found my work address and called my work. They didn't give any information, but my boss was concerned and reached out to my mom. Rain spent the next few hours looking for my family on social media and stumbled upon my sister and sent a message that somehow didn't get filtered out. Uh, by this point, several hours had already passed. Um, okay, so what I'm reading so far, I'm going to pause really quick. This person has attempted suicide like six five six times or something like that and obviously like the xena and poppy like fucking thing here is not saving them right like obviously this person needs real help it would make sense to me that you're like i'm gonna go above xena and poppy because that's what we've been doing this whole fucking time and obviously it's not working obviously you need like professional help not poppy to come and talk to you about your feelings like you need to go to a hospital like you need to be 51 50 <sighs> okay <clears throat> rain for the next few hours looking for my family okay it was a matter of luck that they got my family to find me. It doesn't matter how sincerely they worried for me. Their actions put me at risk of uh, not being found. After I got home, I reached out to a few people to let them know I was safe. I got into a call with Paco, Ghost, and messaged Poppy and Xena. In this call, Rain joined and spent several minutes berating me for scaring her. Um, due to this information being kept from them, Poppy and Xena were under the impression that I was simply BPD spiraling and was playing up the concerning Twitter post and confronted me about it while I was in a call with Paco. Okay, so this says... Uh, okay... Zena says, let me go look, made a post to see uh, Poppy will do an announcement. I appreciate you bringing it up. Uh, I think my post covers it for now. Uh, Poppy says, dear moderators, it's come to our attention that certain people found out that Sage was okay, uh, but chose not to bring any inf information to us for whatever reason. I would like to know why, because it stands, uh, Rain will not be returning to the mod. So ugh, Lady Raincloud lost her mod status over this sad air horn, sad air horn for Lady Raincloud. <laughs> Um, okay, and then this one says Poppy is trying to. This is Penny. Ugh, I don't have a voice for Penny. Sorry. Poppy is trying to figure out why her and Xena were. She has two Discord accounts, one for her and one for her fucking altar. What? Okay, so the altar says uh, Poppy is trying to figure out why her and Xena were the last to find out about this. Um. Sage says hi everyone. This is Sage's sister. I'm just here to tell you all that she's home safe, currently resting. Um, Penny says yes, but Paco, Rain, and Ghost knew before, and based on the timing, Ghost DMs Xena and Poppy. Penny says Rain had reached out to her sister and decided not to tell Poppy. The issue is that has been a, is if this had been a legitimate suicide attempt, everyone have, would have been failed because they withheld information. This is just weird. And then Xena says, this is emotional abuse. This was targeted at Poppy and I. It's abusive that you didn't tell me where my Discord kitten was. You guys didn't tell me where my Discord kitten was. This is abuse. Um... Zena says this weekend went poorly. She was supposed to be here until today, but everyone agreed things were, weren't working. She stayed at Airbnb, then headed back to Indiana and was radio silent for a while. This weekend was pretty rough. There were some, uh, I think, uh, were pri too private sometimes. I broke up with Sage a while ago. No, you're not too private. You guys overshare way too fucking much. 
Uh, Zena says, I just talked to Sage. She was self-harming and attempting somehow. Her family connected and she stopped. Uh, she didn't go to the hospital, though. She needs to go to the hospital. Sage says, I'm safe at home resting. Um, Zena, this is the very sensitive uh, mental health expert, Zena, who says, I can't believe you pulled that suicide scare. Holy fuck. Sage says, pulled. I didn't pull anything. I let the emotions get the best of me. Um, my wrists are torn to shreds. I wasn't a haha -ha funny joke trying to get everybody to notice me because I was lonely. I had a serious breakup spiral and nearly wound up bleeding out in the forest. And then Zena says, is there a reason you're not in the hospital? Because if you're not, you being safe is still better. Sage says, because I refuse to immediately go. Um, Zena said, had family stay with you. They are. With no hospital trip for your wrists, I'll be making that decision on going to the hospital tomorrow. So Zena is like, you need to go to the hospital, essentially. And Sage is like, I don't want to go. Um... And then so Admiral Paco says, my focus uh, throughout this had been on Sage's uh, well-being to the expense of everything else at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time at the, at, at the time of, quote, Sage being okay. The information uh, I had confirmed that Sage was okay. Um, for Rain and Paco, this is downright dangerous. Penny says, I'm going to be a bitchy shark for a minute. Rawr. The reality is that you and other people's actions were not just hurtful, but could have made a difference to whether or not Sage uh, got care. Uh, you, Ghost Rain, did nothing uh, to help and actually added to the information blackout. She literally, they literally got her got her help just because it wasn't from you. Zena and Sage, Sage's family convinced her to go to the hospital. People worried about confidentiality, so they did potential harm instead of contacting trained professionals and loved ones. It also devastated Poppy for that. We are not okay. Again, I think that I would rather have, like, a meth head help me in my mental health crisis than fucking Poppy. Um, the information uh, could have come off to the mod staff immediately. The fact that this will be an issue, becoming an elephant in the room, why are people placing their personal friendships of the well-being of the community and Sage? I'll be honest, for a while now, it's felt like splitting staff. I'm not going to uh, make some BS call for loyalty, except we are. Um, what is nonsensical is that Sage is a part of the server in this community. I'm not sure... Uh, making the choices can give me going away. If you're volunteering for us, then you need to actually do your job. Last reading, R Lady Rain has not been asked to come back as a mod. <sighs> and then we're just like spiraling, spiraling, spiraling. Like why, again, why were Xena and Poppy not contacted? This makes no sense. A simple play-by-play -play -play in the mod chat would have fixed all of this. We have spoken with Sage directly. She didn't ask for any of this, nor did she tell anyone or tell any of you to keep your mouth shut. She was having a mental health crisis and you guys didn't tell us. Okay. Okay, so we get the gist. Okay, released from the hospital. Or we'll we'll read this little blurb and then we'll move on. These are the last messages between Paco and Zena and Poppy after not apologizing for his part in the attempt. What is it? What is Paco's part in the attempt? Paco literally called your family and got you help. What is Paco's part? That he didn't get your like fucking drone master to come and save you? What? Okay, released from the hospital. While I was in the hospital, Paco, Aztec, and Rain were banned from the foundation due to their behavior leading up to my attempt. When I got out, I was unaware of what all had happened beyond that. Uh, the fact that I did something, the reason was uh, I told... I was told first by Poppy, who intentionally told me no specifics, just something that happened, and she wanted me to focus on getting better. While I was inside, and later by Paco and Rain, who complained that Poppy and Zena unfairly punished them for saving my life. When I got out, I acted business as usual and tried to piece together the events. I decided I would listen to everyone's story and decide for myself what to do. So I talked to Ghost first, and then we have more screenshots, and then we have a call. Instead of this, Paco would reach out to my mother several times over the next couple of months, either to check in on me or tell her uh, when I was doom posting on Twitter. Wow, almost like an adult thing to do. Your kid is, like, freaking the fuck out. They've already tried to kill themselves multiple times. Like, maybe you should check on them. He has to talk with her privately without me knowing to what she'd agreed to for the purposes of the call, but told me anyway. And during this, she accused me of buying into Poppy and Zena's narrative about the group and stress uh, that I was only safe as long as my relationships were cure and that I would need a lot more care from someone from now on. My mom at the time did not have the time to talk to him when he initially requested, which is, uh, there's a time between the call. So this is actually true. Paco is stressed. He's, Paco stressed to her that I was only safe as long as my relationships were secure and that I would need more care from someone from someone else. Yeah, like if every time that you break up with your partners, you try to fucking kill yourself, yeah, you probably need somebody to make sure that you're good and that you're fine now because your relationship is fine. But if that changes, you might like hurt yourself. Yeah. Yeah, that seems kind of normal. 
Conclusion, why did I write all this? Because I wanted to clear up some of the confusion, my overall vagueness. Um, yes, I had a relationship conflict with BPD meltdowns because all of this, I was robbed of a proper relationship with my partners. I'm lucky enough that a few weeks after everything settled down, Zena asked if we could try again. I'm fully aware that I can't sanitize or, or I can't substantiate my story with Aztec. It happened in a one-on-one -on -one call. I never got addressed. And she said, she said, and I'm not lying. They can spin it however they want. They can show the DMs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck all of them it is my hope with all this that i can lay this to rest and move on and heal from the events from the last year do not engage with anyone mentioned in this document do not harass them do not reply on their press do not engage just block them i don't want to drag this out any further then stop making you guys stop making like fucking schizo manifestos and it will stop happening everybody who took the time to read this i appreciate being heard to those who sent the kind messages thank you to those who asked for clarification i appreciate you to everyone else uh my only ask is that you consider what i've said uh get out while you can i'm sorry i didn't speak up sooner i'm sorry for all of the initial lack of specifics i hope with this i can finally breathe Maybe this is ableist of me, you guys. If you're going to fucking kill yourself because your partner's going to break up with you, don't date anybody. Maybe that's ableist of me. Maybe I'll fall on that sword. Maybe I'll bite the ableism bullet. Like, if that is ableist, like, okay. If your BPD, like, symptoms are so unmanaged that if you, like, if your partner breaks up with you, you will kill yourself. You shouldn't be in a relationship. You should have a full-time caretaker. Like, not only are you, like, damaging people around you with your toxic spirals, your own life is, like, at risk because of what? because you can't manage your own behavioral reactions to a relationship. If that makes me ableist, then I'm fucking ableist, dude. This is ridiculous. Like, if you're gonna kill yourself because of people breaking up with you, then don't date. That's it. If you're so mentally unwell that you can't handle somebody breaking up with you, don't get in a relationship. Maybe that's a hot take. Maybe that's scalding hot to you guys, but that's, that is my thought process. That is what I think is, tr that is what I think is based and true.